What is up YouTube? It is uh, Chris here from Team Reaper TCG. Um, today I have a, a graded cards video. Uh, it's not very many. I think it's nine. I sent in ten, but one of them is being withheld because it's got an autograph on it. And so I want to get that uh, authenticated. But uh, yeah, so this is a PSA submission return. And we are going to see what grades I got. And one of the cards is Clayton's. And one of the cards is... Rogers, and so we're going to take a gander. I apologize for any background noise. Uh, there's some people in my apartment doing some uh, roof work. Let me just bump the camera right quick. Okay, and I don't exactly remember what all I sent in. Okay, that's the top. But I do remember most of it. Oh, and I sent in one magic card, because why not? dust and stuff. Okay, so there should, there should be nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine. Okay, so first, we'll save that one for last because people don't really play magic. And see if I can see, like, I don't know, you may not be able to see too clearly. I was going to try to show you like minor details and stuff, but it may not be that possible. Okay, so first we have the Shiny Lugia, which is a uh, Gym Mint 10. Pretty freaking baller. I love Lugia, and uh, this card is beautiful. I wonder if I can zoom in some if it'll help. Yeah, there you go. That was pretty good. Nice. Next we have oh <laughs> the uh, the secret Mewtwo, the test tube Mewtwo. Get the the shine on camera. So awesome. Yeah, and a lot of these are packed fresh, so it makes sense that they would get uh, tins. But you never know. Sometimes packed fresh stuff has. Um, Nicks or whatever on them. Alright, so we got a Japanese card, and Japanese cards are usually pretty minty. This one looks pretty good. I don't remember which Japanese card I sent in, to be honest. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Oh, this is not the one I was thinking of, but you got the, the, Psyduck, the Psyduck Scream. Uh, and this is special to me just because I'm in art, and I'm like, hey, I know that painting, and they're like replicating this painting. Another Japanese card. I think I might know what this one is too. It's looking pretty minty. But sometimes Japanese cards have way better quality. Jim Mint 10, yeah, yeah, the, the Eevee Snorlax. This is my favorite artist. Um, Tomokazu, probably butchered his name, Kamoya. But uh, yeah, he's my favorite artist. I love his art style. I love the bold outlines and um, whatnot. Here's a little bit of hollow. And I was like super stoked whenever he had a, uh, a GX card because before this card, he mainly just did like commons and uncommons and stuff. All right, so see there's a little white nick right there. Uh, just, just based off that, this might've gotten a nine unless they were feeling generous. Oh dude, the freaking Snorlax level X. I forgot about this one. Yeah, yeah, so I got a 9. Probably simply because the uh, the white nick on the back. I don't think there's any scratches or anything on the front. I don't know, there's probably minor scratches that you may not be able to see on camera. But I freaking love that card. Look, he's freaking, he's, uh, he's a chubby boy, and he's leaning out of the, leaning out of the frame. Alright. Next up, we got... That looks pretty minty, I would say. Maybe the tiniest of Nicks at the bottom, but probably not. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, Clayton. Your card did not get a 10. That's uh, quite unfortunate. Um, 
I don't know why it wouldn't have, but yeah, this is my homie Clayton's card. There's no way that it got a nine just from the freaking nick nick at the bottom. But I mean, you never know. It's still a really good grade, though. Oh boy, that's got some. It's got some wear right there. I would say an eight or nine easily. Oh yeah, what card is this? Oh, the red, the, the gold star heroes. This is Rogers. Dude, look at that freaking hollow though. There is nothing on that hollow. It's beautiful. I love the reflection of my window. I have my window open for extra light. So yeah, just the the wear right there and the wear right there gave it an eight. Still super awesome. Gold stars and shining cards are just cards that you get. You just get those graded. Like it doesn't even matter what grade they are. This one's looking pretty minty. Maybe a little bit, a little white at the top. A little white at the bottom. Oh yeah, a little bit white. Oh, it's the shiny Gyarados. Oh, nice, nice, the nine. And I got this from Roger. There's the, the hollow. Oh, I can stick my hand in front of the window. But yeah, it looks, looks pretty good. Excited about this, very nice. And then for the magic card, for anybody out there who does does magic things, this is the first magic card I've actually ever graded. I probably have like, looks pretty minty, maybe a little bit down there in the bottom. I have like maybe 20 to 25 other graded Pokemon cards, but this is the first magic. Oh, and it's a 10, no freaking way. The, the box topper temporal manipulation from uh, Ultimate Masters. I actually opened this. I, I halved it with a friend, um, which is kind of weird since there's a box topper, but uh, yeah, he took like a majority of the packs and I'm like, just give me like eight packs and, and the box topper. So overall, this is actually really good. The two cards that weren't mine um, did pretty good, but I think I got a majority of tens. I don't know. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching and um, I'll see you guys in the next video if I do another one. But uh, anyway, see you guys later.